Didactique has a long history in Europe. In 1120, the monk Hugh of Saint Victor in Paris developed an early framework for didactique. This was later transformed into what we today refer to as the didactic triangle. In the didactic triangle, you find some of the important relationships in a teaching situation. Here you have the content, the teacher, and the student. The teacher needs to transform the content so that it becomes meaningful to the students. This means that it's not enough to perhaps be an expert in the field. You also need to be able to teach it well. The student should take part in the suggested study activities and thus the possible learning processes during the teaching situation to learn the content. The relationship between the teacher and the student are of great importance because it's both a social and a pedagogical relationship. In didactique, we would perhaps say that the pedagogical purpose of teaching is to invite, encourage the student to study the content. But we also have an important social aspect of this relationship because the teacher is there as a person to listen to, to try to understand the student and to incorporate the student experiences into the teaching situation. The teacher needs to possess a certain tact to be able to work as a teacher and to respond to the students. This may mean that the teacher needs to think about how to be respectful towards the students, how to uh, engage with the students in, uh, in meaningful ways, uh, how to open up a dialogue with the students. So there are many ethical considerations when it comes to teaching that didactique also uh, handles uh, in different ways. Didactique is sometimes accused of being teacher-centered to the point that the teacher transmits and the student passively listens or does very little in the teaching situation. With this didactic triangle, I've tried to show you that this is not the case. In didactique, teaching is a dynamic process where the teacher, the student, and the content are all entangled and together they hopefully create a meaningful learning situation and teaching situation.